Jeff, uh, could, could you describe what your guys' workout last night entailed? Uh, I mean, just really trying to get work ethic. I don't know. I'm not going to go into real details about it, but just stuff to get people to put forth a lot of effort. Did you agree with, uh, with Coach Leach's statements after the game that it was, it was about effort, that that's, that was the main reason why you guys didn't play well? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's obvious at some points in the game that uh, we could have given better effort, but um, you know, this team is, is real up and down and, and sometimes plays really good football and other times doesn't, so we just got to figure out what makes us come out and, and play, play well. Were you aware during practice that Marquise had walked out, or was it just afterwards, you know, buzz around the team that you found out about that? Uh, I didn't find out until after. What was your initial reaction when you heard about it? Uh, disbelief. I mean, you, you've been a leader on this team for years now. What, how would you describe uh, Marquise's leadership abilities maybe heading into this week? Heading into this week? Yeah, I mean, you know, before he did what he did yesterday. Um, you know, he's he's more quiet type of guy and doesn't doesn't say much, not very vocal, but um, really is one of guy that lead by example and has done so years in the past by making play after play for this for, for this program and um, brings a lot of excitement to guys and belief just because of his big playability and uh, um, really really leads through his actions. Have you talked to him since? I have, yeah. And do you get the sense that he's going to stick around? Uh, I couldn't tell you that. You know. Maybe I'm being naive, but I still think that the whole team is giving 100% effort on every single play, and you guys just maybe aren't executing the way you want to. I mean, are there actually plays where the team isn't trying their hardest, you feel? Um, you know, it's tough. It's tough for me to, to tell you that because I'm not, you know, while I'm playing, I'm not wondering who's who's really trying, but... Um, as far as the character of some of the, a lot of the guys in this team is, is I know that they'll give everything they have. And um, uh, again, I, it, it's it's tough to put your finger on what really makes this team play well some weeks and not play well other weeks. So uh, whether it's an effort thing or an execution thing, it's probably a little bit of both. Um, to be honest, um, we just got to figure out how to make those two kind of come together and, and play well week in and week out. Jeff, what's the feeling the more out around the team right now? Uh, we got to come together. You know, we can't we can't fall apart. It's just the worst thing that could happen, and and uh, you know, a lot of guys can be pushed to their breaking point, but we got to just lean into the wind and really finish these last three games strong and and try to do whatever we can to get some momentum into the off season. Do you do you get a sense that everybody on the team has the amount of respect for the coaching staff that they should? Uh, I mean, that's a tough question. I mean, I'm not inside of the guys' heads, you know what I mean? I don't know what they're thinking and whether, but, I mean, as far as I know, the, the players respect the coaching staff. From your observations, how would you describe Marquise's relationship with the coaches? From the outside looking in, it's been fine. You know, I'm not in his meetings and don't meet with him and Coach Leach, you know, just the three of us. So, but, I mean, outside looking in, it's... It's been tough at times because coach, you know, the coaches have pushed Marquise and, and, and pushed him hard. Um, but, I mean, Marquise is a tough kid and has handled it. Do you think there's a possibility that more guys could leave the program before Saturday's game against UCLA? Couldn't tell you. Honestly, I have no idea. A lot of times when a team faces adversity like this, you'll see players have a players-only meeting. Is that something that you guys have considered or perhaps already done this, this season? Yeah, without, without a doubt. And that's something that we're uh, – Gonna gonna do. Um, just kind of want to take today and just take let everybody step away from it all for a day. It's our day off and and let everybody breathe for a little bit and uh, we'll come ready to work tomorrow and, and like to get the guys together and, and just make sure no one's checking out and and uh, making sure we're doing we're all good. Jeff, I'm wondering what you thought of, of the the offensive and defensive lines being put in front of the media after Saturday's game to answer questions together. Uh, it's good. It's a change up. Other guys get to talk to the media. I mean, I, I'm not going to say that those guys sh should have or should not have been put up there. I don't know. I mean, 
it was coach's decision to put them up there, and that's what happened. I know that uh, Coach Leach, after the game, he said that sometimes there's been times in the season where offense is maybe – struggled with work ethic while the defense has picked up the slack or vice versa. But he said on Saturday, both sides of the ball, no one gave full effort for the full 60 minutes. But given the fact that you guys put a 75-yard touchdown together in the, you know, in the game's final minutes, do you feel that maybe you guys did have a full effort there at the end of the game? Um, you know, it's tough. I think so. Uh, um, I think we just came together and just made, made – play here and play there and just made intermediate throws and whatnot and and I was talking to the coaches and it's tough because you know when you get yourself in a hole it's easy to start pressing and and, and maybe taking shots you shouldn't and, and doing things holding on to the ball because you want to get the ball down the field and that's not what this offense is about you know it's about getting the ball in guys hands in space quick and and and, and taking the little throws when you have to um, so um, we got to learn from it and build from it. That's, that's all I got to say about it. That is the best way to move on, I mean, taking it to UCLA this week, or what's kind of mentality moving forward now? Yeah, without a doubt, we got a ball game to play here Saturday. I mean, the season's not over, so we got to focus on these guys. And and uh, like I said, I mean, sometime, I mean, sometimes after these ordeals is when guys come out with their hair on fire and play some of their best football, so you never know. Jeff, Travis was a guy after the game who was pretty visibly upset. Can you just touch on what he's meant to the program and, and his leadership at yeah, I mean, there's you won't find another guy like him around. Uh, he's a one of a kind in this program, especially. Um, really expresses his emotions and, and leads by his actions tremendously, and doesn't take crap from anyone. And afraid of anyone, will stand up for his beliefs and what is right. And and uh, you know, wish we had more guys like him on this team. And and uh, he's really been a role model, I think, for a lot of the younger guys and, and people on this team. So if you could find, you guys can come together and, and win one or two or three of these last games. What would that mean to you personally? Um, you know, it mean that I know a lot of there's a there's a lot of flack coming in from the outside about this program, and the coaching staff, and the players, and and all that. And um, it would just mean that you're not going to break us and break us as players, and, and we're going to keep moving on and we're going to keep playing ball. Um, it's easy to throw the towel and it's easy to hang your head, but it's not easy to push. And, and, and win two or three ball games here in the stretch. So um, I accept that challenge, and I believe the rest of the team does. And so we're going to go out and try to prove that. What's what's motivating you now that obviously you won't make a bowl, but what is motivating you to get a win here the last three games to, to fight and to keep that effort up? Why would I play the game if I didn't want to win? You know what I mean? I mean, I shouldn't have to be asked a question, what's your motivation to win this game? It's It's for the love of the game. It's who I am. It's why I played the football game. I mean, you play to win, as simple as that. Questions on the line for Jeff? Jeff, uh, UCLA, just getting off a different subject here, uh, UCLA, you know, they've had some uh, inconsistencies on defense, giving up a lot of points sometimes, played real well other times. What do you see in them on film? Uh, just like you said, I mean, have, have been great at times and others not coming off a huge defensive game against Arizona, obviously, who just beat USC, so I'm sure they'll be riding with some confidence. Um, we'll get in, look at them, and, and uh, see if we can exploit them. Pretty good speed on defense? Yeah, they're athletic. They're real athletic. What oh, was Jeff, there's been some reports that, uh, that Marquis emptied his locker last night after, after the conditioning thing. Did he do that? Don't know. Thanks. Yep. Any other questions on the line, Bud? No, oh, I'm good. Thank you. you. Guys, good with Jeff? Uh, one more question. Um, obviously, you know some of the players didn't handle practice yesterday the way you would have liked. But conversely, were there any players that maybe stepped up to this, you know, hard workout that that impressed you yesterday? Um. I mean, I, Travis is be the only one. He's he's screaming, hollering for more. Can we hurry up and do this? I mean, you just you're not going to get to that kid. Other than that, guys were just just doing the workout. I mean, we we finished it and completed it. But only one who was who really stood out, and you, I'm sure anybody on this football team or anybody who was out in that field would agree, was was Travis.